Nice pull, but you're welcome back. Some more Shadows of Valencia. So before we get going with uh, Celica's side, um, I'm here on Alm's End, uh, which we did last episode. Um, we're pretty much just being run up on paladins over and over and over. And, you know, trying to get, you know, ready for Alm's next side. Um, people got ready to uh, promote. So Claire is level 12. Faye is level 12, and Cliff is level 12. That is the level that all of them promote. Uh, and let me just double check. Faye, I believe, yes, does want to promote. Silk is nearing level 12, but I do not want her prom to promote, um, I believe. Let me just double check that. Faye, yeah, level 10 was when Faye got her last thing. Cliff, um, now Cliff, I don't actually think I want to because Cliff gets Sagittarius at 15, so I guess it's just going to be Faye and Claire. I'm actually glad I checked that. Um, but we're going to start off with, with Faye first. She's going to be a saint. We've seen saint already with Jenny, um, but we haven't seen... I mean, that was Jenny's colors. And she had, you know, poof, and it was all pink. So Faye as a saint... Same thing, but just in her color scheme, instead of, you know, the more pinks, there's the, the more brown um, aspects to it. And she doesn't get much, I mean, one movement, nine HP is nice. And then she gets Seraphim and the two uh, two skills there, which is fairly, fairly nice. But Claire will get quite the upgrade here. Uh, she has the Rider's Bane, which I thought was a fairly decent thing to give her, just because her, her attack was fairly low, so give her an edge on something. Um, but, you can see here, she'll get plus 5 to defense, plus 10 to HP, into the Falcon Knight, and, I'm assuming it's gonna be a skill, so I will hold off for just a second, but this is our first Falcon Knight, we're gonna get another one later on in this episode, I believe, anyways. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, hmm, hmm, but, there's Claire as a Falcon Knight, I love her armor, looks really good. Alright, and she learns a skill called Banish, which I believe, I, I didn't look it up, but I know just from Gaiden that Falconites have increased attack by 10 when attacking terrors. Okay, so I don't know if it's if it was nerfed since Gaiden, but it's still kind of there in some form that Pegasus Knights, or Falcon Knights rather, have an innate ability of... Anti-terror, so kind of like uh, the Blessed Sword, but just with any attack they do, any damage they do to terrors has, is increased. So that's pretty cool. Um, you're going to hold off on Cliff for, I guess, three more levels. Uh, Silk has got, I think, 18. Let's see, Silk. Yeah, she gets 18. God. So it'll be a while before uh, before we do that. But I am going to hop out of this dungeon real quick, and then we'll hop over to Maze or May. Hop over to Celica side. All right. So over here on Celica side, last thing we did was we uh, we recruited Atlas from this village, and we went out here to initially promote him, but decided against it and wait for the DLC. Well, the DLC is out, and it is 100% not what I expected it to be. So the DLC classes. Um, I can kind of, you know, manage DLC. I can kind of show you. Um, the DLC classes, there's Altar of Destrier, Titan, Skylord, Sorcerers, Fairy, Ogre, Marksman, Savant, Queen, and King. What these do is they are Tier 4 classes. So they're not just a, like, I guess, Fates or Awakening with Dreadfighters or Brides, um, you know, Ballisticians, Witches. They're not like that. It is... You need, so, like, we have a Baron. If I got Valbar Baron to level 20, then he could use, I believe, Titan. There's a specific one that correlates to Barons only. So I can't just anyone cross over or at any point become this. They have to be level 20 in their third tier class, and then they can become these overclasses, which are tier 4. So that kind of ruins a lot of plans I had with these DLC, and it's actually rather disappointing. Um, because I'm not huge into grinding or any of that, so I probably will never see half of them. Um, which sucks, but... 
There are free DLCs, and we just recently got something called the Pitchfork. Um, and if we look, where is that? Where's the pitchfork? Or did I not grab it on this side? I might not have grabbed it on this side. Hold on. So we go back out to manage DLC, play DLC. I think I did it on my other safe out. Yeah. So Mila's Bounty 2, I believe. Let's see. Welcome, child of fate. I am a servant of Mila. Draw closer now. By my master's will, shall I bestow upon you my gift. And we got a pitchfork. Uh, may you walk always in the light of Mila's blessing. So those are free. You can download those whenever you want. Uh, Japan has five of them. And we are scheduled to get all five as well. Um, but we currently have two. The other one, I might as well do it right here. Why not? This isn't a super serious run. We're just we're just enjoying the game. It's new. Exploring everything we can. So go to Mila's Bounty 1. Welcome, child of fate. I am servant of Mila. Draw closer now. My master's will, I shall bestow upon you a gift. Okay, so same text in both of them. But that one gives us boots. So you get free boots and a free pitchfork. Boots, um, I'm curious to see how much movement they give in this game. Uh, let's see. Convoy. Um, boots. I don't want to just use it straight away. I don't know how much movement they give. Well, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's save. And I'll just soft reset. <laughs> All right, so Atlas. Uh, I'm just using Atlas because he doesn't have anything. Oh, I also got this Bone Walker oil. I don't know what it is, but it dropped off just a random Bone Walker. Um, so he has four movement. One. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna. I, I don't want to actually give it to him. I just wanted to see what how much movement it was and if it would show me before I full on used it. Also, if you have a bunch of DLC, you get a loading bar. Uh, it might be just an old 3DS thing, or maybe it does that on the new 3DS, but... Don't even have all the DLC downloaded. A lot of it's just placeholder, currently, because it's not out. And you get a nice loading bar, because of all the shit it's trying to load. So that's... Rather annoying, honestly. Um, but Atlas, I think... We're, I'm gonna promote him to a knight, so he'll go on the same path as Valbar. Well, we got this pitchfork, and I've been thinking about it, and how I want to do this is Paula is going to go ahead and promote. Paula gets to stay where she's at. Um, well, at, hmm, maybe not. Well, yeah, yeah, Paula gets to stay. Katria is my favorite, but I want to I want to experiment. So this pitchfork, an item needed to change to the villager class. You give this to anyone and um, they can become a villager. Now, I don't know how exactly this works. Um, there was not like a, have the system unit choose a snow. So I'm, oh, oh look, she, okay, she's holding it. Okay, so I still need to, okay, okay. I see, I see. So for now, she can, she can have the ring, angel ring, swap. And if they're holding it in their inventory, it seems like you have to hold the inventory, it gives you the promotion icon, and then you go to a shrine. So we're gonna go up north. Um, I want I want to go this way first, like, kinda, but I also just really want to go through this dragon shrine. So we're gonna go up north and fight the Storming of Valley Approach. I think 94th of Pegastim. At last, the Valley Approach. Cross this, and we'll finally reach the Earth Mother's Temple. Take heart, everyone. We're nearly there. Aye, but are you? Who? Oh, by the Mother. What are Regalian forces doing all the way out here? Pray think on it for a moment. I'm sure the answer will come to you. No. No, that can't. You're a priestess, I. Other of your kind have tried to cross this valley and seek Mila's blessing, but nary a one of them have completed the journey in one piece. Ignorance is a pitiable thing. Aye, so it is. Doubly so when it's the very mother who's responsible for your suffering. What is that supposed to mean? 
why waste time explaining when you're about to be dead like all the rest? This dude's hair? God damn. Okay. Um, we might be a little bit in over our heads, but we'll see. There is a witch here. Um, the rating comparison, they're 979 versus our 711. Um, but I'm thinking we'll be fine. Here's the boss, like Shadow Sword. Plus 13 attack? Oh my god. Five weight, but holy shit. Life Taker and Hex? What is that? Hold on. Click it, goddammit. Has a set chance of cursing you. Oh, I guess they're like Berserk weapons, maybe? Then Life Taker. Oh, if opponent is defeated only. Okay. Wait. I didn't know this was a thing. How'd I do it? You double tap, and you can, like, look at their art. That's really cool. That's really cool. Okay. Uh, we got two witches. My ass went Meyer. Steel sword, steel sword, steel sword. Ooh, wait. Oh, mercenary. Oh, you're merm. Okay. All right. Um, this could get kind of dicey, but hopefully we're going to be fine. The main issue is these witches. Who and this is Celica's first encounter uh, with witches, so we're gonna get witches. this. What? This whole thing is a bit out of my realm of expertise. But apparently, offering up your soul to Duma buys you enormous magic power. Problem is, you basically turn into a living husk sort of uh, thing. That's horrific. It's also why the Empire's so strong. I'm sure the Deliverance has its hands full. Um. Alright. So first bout with witches. Oh, there's a support between Celica and Atlas. Why not see what's going on? Hello, Atlas. Lady Celica. I hope you're feeling well. I often worry that you push yourself too hard. <laughs> a little scrap like this ain't nothing to worry about. Heck, I do this kind of thing to unwind. You talk like it's a tavern brawl. Though I wager the general idea is the same. More or less, yeah. So you can keep the orders coming. You saved my life, remember? Gotta do what I can to pay you back. I see. Well, thank you, Atlas. Just please be careful, okay? Alright. So... Leave it to me. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna kind of block up. I mean, two witches are coming in, so there's not a whole lot I can do in terms of, like, guessing what's going to happen. Okay. The other one didn't warp. Interesting. Okay. Um, anyone, like... Leon's actually pretty close to leveling, so might as well. That does it. That gets him to what? Level 8. HP, skill, luck, defense, res. Okay. Uh, Bowie's very close. Katria is, like, right there. I'm still kind of, like, unsure if I want to give her the villager folk or not. I definitely want to use it. Hmm. I can be fun though. HP attack. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can, I guess, <laughs> remove her horse's wings. Is that fucked up? It might be a bit fucked up. But we don't have a cavalier, so maybe we'll go that route. Okay, so Meyer. Ooh, they can both reach the same point. All right. Um, let's invoke with Jenny, just to get a few meat shields at the ready. Leave them to me. All right. Ready anytime. Let's see. 
I feel like this witch is gonna warp. Still not warping in. I feel like she's gonna warp in at the worst possible time. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, oh, you can't reach. Let's swap. I think it's May. Yeah, May can't reach. All right. Um. Yikes. Uh. I mean, okay. May kills. This guy's my asthma, not Meyer. Meyer is the. Why? If she lands those, she'll kill. God damn it. Um, I guess javelin this one and hope for the best. You know, I didn't check to see what was behind you. Fucking hell! There are no archers behind you, okay. But, like, why? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, part of me wants to invoke again, but I'm going to hold off. All right. There it is! Okay, it's just an illusion. I mean... All right. Um... You have 13 attack. You just have fire, but you do, you can teleport. I'm gonna go, I mean, 59 hit, I know. This is not good. Aura will take this guy down to full- as you have to hit that. Thank you. Like, you- you- I'm not giving you the option. The like, what else can I do? <laughs> um... Fucking hell. Please, just thank you. Thank you. Um. God damn it, Jenny. I'm going to have to reset, more than likely. Because none of these are hitting. Like, I can come out here. I can't kill anything. So, let's just see what happens, I guess. Illusion dead. Illusion dead. Healing you. Okay, interesting choice. Oh, Leon with the crit, thank you. That's why we count on you. Thank you, that is why we count on Leon. All right. Come we. Unnecessary crit there. But I need all of this dead. This guy's coming. And I'm terrified. I am terrified of that guy. Let's see. Okay, we got you. Let's... Okay. Try to make sure I'm not, you know, putting my flyers into harm's way. How about this? Thank you, Paula. Thank you. And then we got a merm. 
So let's try 12, 13, 9. I'll Seraphim the Merm. Okay. Valbar, 82%. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then... Saber. Pretty solid. I'll go here. Fire with Bowie. As long as he lands. Okay, so we just have an archer and we have the shadow sword guy. Let's go ahead. Ah, oh, so close, so close. Atlas is kind of dead weight right now. <laughs> And he might be for a little while, actually. Um, recover. Well. Now, I'm curious. This didn't have range to it, did it? No. Just one range. Um... Okay. So, let's see here. Wow. You straight up kill Katria. That ain't good. I'll handle this myself. Get Atlas out of there. Recover. I need him out of the mountains. That is a must. All right, good job, Leon. Okay. So now we can just focus all our efforts on this guy, and I'm glad you're on my side. see. There's four. Mountain, Valbar. All right. Okay, he's off the mountain. We got, we got the invokers coming in. I'm gonna, we, I'm gonna use it again. So four more. Yep, four more meat shields. Uh, okay. So fifteen speed. I don't. Th I think I should have anyone try and tank. I mean, pretty sure he's just going to... Um... What's the word? Attack the illusion anyway. Uh, I guess I should get Paula and Katria over here just to be safe. You know, have everyone... So I can pile on the damage as much as possible. What are you waiting for? Soon you'll all serve as scabbards for my shadow sword. Zero damage, zero damage, zero damage. One damage, zero damage. I'm glad none of you actually hit him, you sacks of shit. I'm fucked. I am so incredibly fucked. Like Rez is the is the answer. I know that much, but like That was 68 hit rate. And he's not on anything specific. This is not good. 18% crit. Fuck. Okay. You just straight up die. Now, Valbar does a decent amount of damage. Can you stand where Kamui- Nope. Fuck. Okay. 
I got this. Uh, you can, though. So, Kamui doesn't... I mean, I need all the damage I can get. Shouldn't you get that patched up? Uh, I don't have that luxury right now. Night, Jenny. 90. Don't. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I believe we are solid. Uh, May? Uh, she needs level 14. I was like, she'll be able to promote in one level, but she wants level 14 before uh, that happens. Saber. I mean, if he lands. It'll kill... 100% accurate. Okay. 18. 100% accurate. 100% accurate. Okay. Damn. You're stronger than you look. Save you too late. Miller is... already... Get a level. Okay, that guy is terrifying. <laughs> Attack speed luck. Hey, we got Earth's Boon! Which I have on my other save file. Uh, pretty much, if you use it and you kill someone, you get food. Pretty solid, actually. Shadow Sword, send to the convoy. Their mistake was going up against me. Whew. Okay. Dang it! I hate it when they die right before they say something important. What do you think, Celica? What beans was he about to spill there? I don't know. But whatever it was, I don't like it. We must hurry to the temple. I must hurry to the temple, but like also not. <laughs> because we're going into this dragon dungeon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, like, Paul is saying, like, hey, don't go this way. If you insist on heading in that direction, I'll excuse myself. Wait! You're wait, wait, wait! Greek Citadel? Then I'm afraid our paths part here. Farewell. Hey. That isn't the way to Greece. The Koopa, stop this! Detours. If you're taking the long way, our deal's off. What the fuck? Fuck all of you guys! What the shit? Like, yes, I want to go over there, but there's a shrine right here. What the? That. Okay. So here's the next question. Um, they're still here, right? And are they the same level, with the same experience? Ah, uh, hello. Did you need something? Yes. Perhaps you changed your mind about traveling together? Get your ass back in the party. Yes, did you need a... or... What the fuck? You best... Okay, okay, they are. They just, they give you their items back. <sighs> Fucking Atlas. Man! That... is... so goddamn annoying? Okay. Um... Angel Ring. Yeah, let me fight this, get Atlas, and give me a second. All right. <laughs> so on top of going to get Atlas, I think three different things popped up on the map. A canter, a, uh... Oh, I almost hit that. A canter and two brigands, and they're like right there, so I'm gonna have to deal with those too. Uh, but... We're going to, first of all, deal with Paula and Atlas. So Atlas, uh, I am gonna go ahead and go Soldier. Uh, he only gets one HP, so it's like, in terms of boosts, it's not fantastic. But with his growths, uh, this is probably the best choice for him. 
Well, I think Mercenary, honestly, is the best choice. But I want some diversity and not just all mercenaries. <laughs> Oh, you can have like all like black, like dark gray armor. That I'm would be sure pretty cool as a uh, as a baron. Okay, and then Paula as a falcon knight. Interested to see what you will look like, cause um, Claire had some like white and gold armor, and you're you're all green. So what's it gonna look like? It's gonna be like Alencia esque, like green, white, and gold. Yes, you look- that's like straight up Alencia armor right there, I love it. As with any mission, I shall do my best. Alright, there's the banished now. We're- we're clipping- we're clipping Catria's wings. Uh, Catria's Pegasus' wings, I should say. Um, so if we go... To the shrine, change class. Catria. She goes to villager. She mo she loses three movement. Mm, uh, gains one HP though. Okay. I don't know what she looks like as a villager though, because here's her. I mean, that's her without a horse. What's she gonna look like? That is adorable. That is really cute, honestly. I do all that I'm able. All right. So, villager fork or pitchfork, uh, given to Catria, and I mean, <laughs> I could give her this. It might. I mean, like, <laughs> look at that. <gasps> Hold up. So, I mean, clearly she's gonna need to hit level 7, and that might actually happen in between episodes because of all the shit running at me. Um, but I kinda wanna see this Shadow Sword in action, and Saber's also gonna level with one... I think it's Saber. Someone's gonna level in one one battle, so just... Let's just see real fast for you, at. At your service. I'll mow him down. Yeah, Atlas, Atlas and Catria. I mean, Catria more so because Atlas isn't just a villager anymore. Um, let's just end there. It's on Atlas. May who destroys. That's some solid damage, but this one, this hex. I'm wondering if I can look up what exactly it does. Because I'm thinking it's like demon weapons, or devil weapons, or berserk weapons, whichever game you know them from, where there's a chance that you hurt yourself very, very badly. Um, equipment provisions. Am I blind? Oh, combat arts and skills. Control F hex. Okay, passive skills. Yeah, may user may damage themselves instead. So there's a chance. And I hate these weapons. But I'm gonna mess with it. Also, who's at 99? Right. Saber. Okay. Oh perfect. He doesn't actually kill it. So he doesn't take all that experience. <laughs> Skill speed defense. Good shit. What does it look like in action, though? Like, look at that! And then the life taker. High risk, high reward. Or I, I actually don't know if it's high risk. Risk reward. Go big or go home, kids. Okay. Cool. Mila has seen us through safely. And then, like I mentioned, we're clipping. We're clipping the Pegasus wings, so she'll get a horse back. But as a cavalier, that's that's the plan, anyways. Um, I might as well. Uh, give me a second. Oh, so I forgot villagers promote at level three, not level seven. So 
We're just gonna get that horse right here, right now. I love it when victories are easy. I mean, I could... I mean, she's leveling really fast. So I could maybe squeeze some more levels out of Villager if I really wanted to. But I'm not too worried about... Like, I've, I've seen people post their units of where they went 20 all the way through. Um, and, and then promoted. And the increased stats they have is not worth it whatsoever. Uh, but yeah. Because she's female villager, she's mage, cleric, pegasus knight, and cavalier as options. We're going with cavalier. So, the cute villager dress goes away. I'm wondering what she looks like as a cavalier. Kind of the same as she does with a Pegasus, more... Looks like heavier uh, armor, like more more grays instead of like whites on her armor. But she's back to that lance, um, so no... No using that shadow sword anymore. Um, who does want to use it? Maybe, maybe I'll give it to like... Saber? I don't know. I don't know who I want to give it to. We'll find, we'll find some use for it. But, uh, I guess I'm just gonna end things there. The, my, my plan was to go outside and then end the episode, but hit level three, so why not promote her? But, uh, yeah, that, <laughs> everyone leaving me had me so confused. I know in the next act, there is something you can mess up by going just by curiosity. Curiosity can literally ruin something for you. Um... But that was unexpected. I don't know if I ever did that in Gaiden. Like, I don't know if that happens in original Gaiden or not. Because I don't think I've ever seen that. Huh. But anyways. That's going to be it for us today. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Bye.